Ms. Bobby Cohen. Oh, there you are. I didn't see you. Uh, Mr. Brian. My name is Bobby Cohen. I'm a resident of District K and Texas State Policy Advocacy Co-Chair for National Council of Jewish Women, speaking on their behalf today. We appreciate the opportunity to address the Council and urge your support of the Equal Rights Ordinance. NCJW believes that human rights and dignity are fundamental rights that must be guaranteed to all individuals. We are longtime advocates for human and civil rights and for an end to all forms of discrimination. NCJW firmly supports the enactment, enforcement, and preservation of laws and regulations that protect civil rights and individual liberties for all. Some members of our society are marginalized by the omission from protection afforded the fe by federal law. This ordinance broadens that protection to include everyone living in and traveling to Houston and provides e local remedies that are timely and more enforceable. We urge your continued support of HERO. Council Member, ma'am, Council Member Green. I'm Ms. Cohen, this is District A resident. Thank you so much for coming out and, and sure. uh, thanks for your opinion. Thank you. Council Member Cohen. Thank you. First of all, we're not related, right? Right. Maybe way back. <laughs> well, but, yeah, yeah, 4,000 years back, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much for being here. Um, as someone of the Jewish faith, as you are obviously representing the National Council of Jewish Women, right. and myself, if, if the voters were to overturn the Equal Rights Ordinance, and you were to go into a, a restaurant to eat, and you were wearing, let's say, a Star of David, and the restaurant mm -hmm. owner said, I'm sorry, we don't serve Jews. What would be, what, what could you do? Well, my understanding is that at this point in time, I would have to file a federal suit, and that that's very that's exactly time consuming. Right. You, we, if we overturn right. the Equal Rights Ordinance, as a Jewish person that was refused admittance into a restaurant, you'd have to find your own attorney. Correct. You'd have to go through the federal courts. If the same thing would happen if, if someone around this table were Catholic and came in with a cross and were refused service. Right. This Equal Rights Ordinance is not directed specifically to people of the GLBT community. This is an ordinance that affects people based on sex, race, color, ethnicity, national origin, age, familial status, Absolutely. marital status, military status, religion, disability, sexual orientation, genetic information, gender identity, and pregnancy. So if you were pregnant, well, it's perhaps a little late that's for not. That. <laughs> if I were, and that was really out of the realm of possibility, but it, you know, walked into a restaurant and said, I'm sorry we don't serve pregnant people, I would have to find myself a lawyer and take it through the federal courts. And, which is absolutely insane. And people need to realize that what we're talking about is if you overturn the Equal Rights Ordinance and vote against it, you are voting against those 15 different categories. And so this is not about the GLBT community. This is about 15 different groups of people. Thank you very much for representing the National Council of Jewish Women. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Pritchett to be followed by